Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined here today by Isabella McCauley here at the Tour Van at Minnetonka. And today we've got a fun one. We're going to do a little competition today. We're going to play horse. And for those who are not familiar, horse kind of originates from basketball, I think. But today it's going to be a little challenge, one-on-one, -on -one, head to head, um, where basically the rule of the game is you call a shot and you hit it, and then the next person has to repeat it. Otherwise, they get a letter. And if you get five letters, or in this case, horse, the entire word, you then lose. And so, uh, well, Bella, this will be a lot of fun today. We're gonna focus a lot too on the dialing in the wedges, which is an area that I think I need a little bit of improvement in my game. And so, uh, but Bella, for those who also aren't aware, Bella just competed at the US Am in California. So uh, before we get started, Bella, I kind of wanted to just chat a little bit about that, your experience there. You know, the Gophers actually had four women that qualified, which is really cool. So um, down at Bel Air. And so mm -hmm. talk to me about that experience, what that was like playing, you know, a uh, very tough setup, I imagine, with uh, some of the best golfers in the world. Yeah, it was so much fun, Drew. Um, I think one of the coolest parts was just being with a couple of my teammates. There were four of us there, which, as you said, was the most of any other college team. So that was cool just to have that experience with them. And from a course per perspective, Bel Air was just super fun to play from an experience standpoint. Um, course was unreal. The views were so pretty. So kind of being able to just take in that whole atmosphere as well while playing golf, it was just very fun. So mm -hmm. I really enjoyed it. The course itself was really tough. It was honestly an honor to be a part of the field. So it was a great time. Yeah, and it was, it was fun to cheer you on as well. I know we were <laughs> following kind of the live scoring and yeah. stuff as well here at at second swing, but um, I think this will be fun because I've got, you know, we've got, I got my bag in here, you've got yours. Let me talk about a little bit about the clubs and the wedges that we have in the bag as well. But ultimately we gotta, you know, this is an area of my game I need to get better at. I have a feeling this is a pretty good area of your game. So um, I'm excited for it, but and we'll let you pick the, the first shot here. All uh, right. Ladies first, right? So uh, yeah, let's, ready to get after it? let's do it. I think wedges are like one of the most important mm -hmm. parts of the game. So it's gonna be fun. Everyone always needs some, some tuning up. I could use it before the season starts. So Absolutely. let's do it. <laughs> Okay, let's do a 70 yard carry. Whoever okay. can get closest to 70 yards. 70 yards, yes. okay. Any t type of shot shape, but just 70 yards. So 70 yards, loser or farthest away gets the letter. Yep. Okay, 67.9. That's, that's a pretty good start. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm going to grab my wedge here. <laughs> that's a heck of a start. Okay. See again, I it's all I've about ever... the feel here. I know some people, do you have like a, do you use like a clock system or something like that with your swings? Yeah, I do. do? Okay. Yeah, it helps me just use muscle memory of basically yeah, how see, far I need to hit a shot. I need, I need to do that. <laughs> it's literally, I get up here, I'm like, hmm, what does 70 yards feel like? All right, 58 degree, SM9, let's see it. Oh, I think I'm too short. Yep. Not I have to bad. Take the first letter. I take the first letter. I mean, I have, I have probably like a 20 footer short uphill putt. Hopefully, right? If that's yeah, that's not shot, bad. But you're fine. All right, so no, you done. get to keep picking the shot as long as you're giving me letters. Okay. So. Hmm. All right, let's do closest to 55 yards, but it has to be a draw. Has to be a draw. Has to okay. Be a draw. Wow. Yeah. I haven't done a lot of shot shaping with wedges before. I just kind of hit it. <laughs> this is honestly, I, like it. I really haven't either, but I'm just kind of coming up with this. I could be way off. Oh, oh that see, is, that's like ten that yards. That is a draw. Yeah, but it's like ten yards. But gone. it's a little deep. Okay, okay. So you got room here. I have a decent window to work with, <laughs> but I have to hit a draw, which is a draw with the wedge is just gotta. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm going to probably exaggerate this too much here. All right. So I have to get within, what is it, 65 to 45 mm -hmm. for the carry. Yeah, you got a good window. <laughs> oh, I hit it a little thin. That might be. That's not a draw, though. So what happens there? So I think, I, I think you win because I, yeah, you get the letter, or I get the letter because I didn't hit the draw. Okay, okay. Shoot. All right, we'll try another. All right, this might be a quick little, quick little game here. <laughs> All right, let's do 80, 80, closest to 82 carry. I'm just coming up with a weird number. 82, 82 okay. carry. No shot shape in here? No need, no. 
no shot, shot shape here. Okay. Let's just see how what happens. Oh my word. <laughs> 81.3. Okay. <laughs> um, what, uh, for those watching and might be curious, what do you have for wedges in the bag, lofts and stuff right now? Yeah, so I play Vokey, Titleist Vokey wedges. Okay. I have a 58, which I use 70 yards in and yeah. from everywhere around the greens. I don't ever chip with anything else. Um, and then I have a 54 degree, which I use from about 75 to 85 yard shots okay. and then I have a gap wedge which is I think 50 degrees and that's about a um, a 90 95 yard okay. shot yeah. yep so kind of a different variety the the main difference between the clubs for me is just the distance rather than shot shapes or different yeah. things I'm trying to play sure yeah. sure yeah yeah all right so that's well, when you can qualify for a USAM, you got to be dialed with the wedges and clearly 82 yards she calls and it hits 81.3. So, all right, 82 yards, here we go. Nope. All right, I've got three letters, three of the five. All right, I'm all right. trying to... I think you're uh, I'm you're, trying to think of different No, stuff. you're, hey, you're, <laughs> this is how you win. You just, um, uh, Okay, how about we do like an 85 total? Total? Okay. Yeah. Close yeah. to 85 total. So nothing okay. to have to do with the carry. We'll do a total this time. So I could pull out, bring out my 7 iron and hit a little punch shot. Run it up to 85 <laughs> yards. That's one way to do it. Oh, that's got to sit, I think. I hit that kind of far. Okay. Okay, like. I mean, 90's still. It's okay. It's still good. It's still good. Um, I can tell this clock system works because I'm over here kind of just guessing on what I'm... Yeah, and it's, it's not too... I, yeah, I know it's, this are kind of, it's almost like a full swing for you or close to. Yeah, it, it's not too hard to, you know, figure out a clock system. Anyone can do it. It just takes a little bit of time and figuring out, okay, you know, a little bit past my waist is... Yeah. 35 yards or you know up to my shoulder is yeah. 55 you know yeah. so just kind of having an idea roughly so when you're out on the course I hate being on the course and just having like no idea like I'm yeah. like what you know how far I need to hit this yeah. so because I, I do um, find myself with a lot of like 60 70 80 yard wedge yeah. shots and that's where I'm just kind of like hmm this yeah this kind of feels like yeah absolutely yards. and if you lay up on a par three that's a really common yardage in so yeah being able to capitalize on that all right. And those shots is good. So I have to get it. So you said 85 total. So you have, I have a window of 5.4 yards if my math yep. is correct. You got some room. <laughs> oh, you got it. I did. All right. All right. I got one letter. So that means now I got to pick the shot. Huh? Yep. Okay. <laughs> wow. All right. I'm going to grab, actually, I'm going to stick with this club here. We're gonna go real short here, okay. real short. We're gonna cool. go, have to carry it from 40 to 45 yards. In All there. right. That range. Let's see it. I wasn't sure what you were gonna pick here. I wasn't really sure either. <laughs> That's way left, but it might still be the right number. Oh, barely okay. inside. Okay, That's so. good. So between 40, 45? Yes. All right. That's okay, a yeah, goofy shot. Between 40 and 45 yards. You knew what you were doing, though. But see, yeah. now, if you get this, then nobody gets a letter, and we just run it up okay. again. So. That might be too far. Ooh. See, it's too far. Shoot. All right, All right I got two letters now. Now we're cooking. <laughs> now we're cooking. Your turn. Okay, we'll do closest to 95 carry. Okay. Perfect. That's a little bit more of a full swing with this club for me, so I'm trying to help myself out a little bit. I almost missed it. Okay. 
I Re like that. Really Assault. close. Wow. There like was like that. no roll on that. I kind of clipped it weird, but it worked. I I have a point one to. Yeah, I, I be feel on good about that. my chances on this one. <laughs> what kind of wedges do you hit? So I've got same as you. I got Voki SM9. Okay. Um, one I'm using for all these shots right now is my 58 degree um, M grind. So. Oh, nice. All right, we are now both at three letters. Yeah, you know, I would have maybe taken that, but that wasn't even close to your shot. Well, I, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do closest to 65 carry. Okay. 65 carry. Again, I'm working on that clock system. I'm going to try a little, like, 9 o'clock here. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. So you got 6.2 to work with here? Yeah, let's see if I can do it. Oh, wow. Okay. You are bad, back in the driver's seat here. Okay, I wasn't feeling good with having three letters. So let's now, see. yep, We've so got I got one more game I got point. one more strike and I'm out, if you will. Okay, game in your point. Pick. Yep. In your pick. Let's do let's do another short one. I'm thinking closest to thirty five carry. Thirty five carry, okay. That is a that is a short That's feely really shot. Short. Yep. And sometimes I feel like I don't know if the simulators always pick up when it gets that short, so we'll yeah, see. Yeah, it is a little bit kind of we'll finicky see. with that. We'll see. Ooh. Okay. I mean, six. There's some. So you got room. six and a half, or I got six and a half yards here to work with. Yep. Well, this is it. This is for all the marbles. If I don't make this one, or I don't get it within that window, I lose. So. You've got some room. <laughs> oh, that was way too far. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that was way too far. I knew right as I swung. I knew right as I swung. Dang. Well, clearly, wedge control is important. Yes. Um, I think I have a little bit of a room of improvement that I can I can get there, but Everyone clearly that, that stuff matters. So, so when you're out there on the course, I mean, you, you have a lot of these shots. You're obviously pretty comfortable with basically any of these yardages that you might face. Is that, and you mentioned the numbers with your wedges, right? From your 58 degree, basically 70 and in, every number there you have something covered. So I mm -hmm. guess, can you speak to maybe the <clears throat> the importance of that for any golfer out there watching this, you know, with your wedges? You shouldn't be trying to maybe guess, maybe like I am right now. It's kind of more of, if you have a, a number, you got to know exactly what club you're hitting. Yeah, absolutely. The shorter the shot, you know, you want to be more, com you should be more comfortable. You you kind of want to have, um, go into a 60 yard shot thinking, hey, like I can make birdie from this. So um, the more you think of it as a really good thing rather than, you know, a negative is, yeah. is probably the best. It's good to have a positive mindset about it. I think it's really important. I mean, especially at really tough courses, if you're not super precise on your carries and um, your spin control around the greens, it's going to get really tough to hold the greens and get close and even have chances for birdies. So that's kind of just where it gets most critical are on really tough courses where the greens are yeah. elevated and stuff. But it's important on any golf course. And I think it's a really good skill for any one of any skill level to have for sure. One of the basics. Absolutely. Well, Bella, thank you for joining. Yeah. And um, I mean, again, the importance of dialing in your wedges, uh, as Bella just mentioned, uh, it will help you lower your scores. So um, thank you for that. And also good luck for the season. Uh, we'll be rooting on the Gophers for sure. Thank you so much. So much fun.